your girl is is just out here chilling. Probably finna run in a minute. There's so many wasps out here, but I just wanted to come out here um, and say what's up because I ain't been on here and y'all ain't know why. And it took a moment. I had to figure out what was going on. So basically, I'm just getting out of a depression, like really like a two year prolonged depression that I just didn't know how to fix. It was a hard struggle, a very hard struggle. Um, and just being out here just, just gives me so much peace. Like I have no time to waste anymore. You know, like your heart posture. It's really about your heart posture. Regardless of what someone's done to you, what you've done to others, what your heart posture means, you know, how are you responding? How are you coping? How are you managing? How are you getting to the next? How are you going forward? You know, going forward is key. Going forward is natural. Change is natural, you know. There were so many changes that happened in my life back to back since like 2017. And I had categorized 2017 as the downfall of my life. Excuse my hey y'all, it was wet. It is dried in the sun now. Heart posture is key. Heart posture is key. Sometimes we think that forgiveness is the key and it's, no, forgiveness is the door. It, it's for you to get your heart posture right. So however you have to do that, you guys, if you have to talk to somebody, it's okay. Um, if you have to write it out, if you have to listen to music, you know what I mean? If you have to dance, if you have to draw, if you have to go be active or just go sit somewhere out in the field of nothing, okay, and just be there, say that. If something bite me out here, talk to y'all. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Anyway, um... I'm in my folks backyard, but it's been so much y'all. But like I said, since 2017, I had categorized that as the downfall of my life and I am so dramatic. Okay. <laughs> Got to get over that. Like there will be another year probably within my lifetime that I just feel like that's, that's a bad year too only me and living my best life before Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion them came out baby like I was already on that I was already on that it wasn't no I'm trying to fall in love I say whatever you want you know what I mean to get what I want I was all about me because of my hurt and my pain that I didn't want to deal with and that hurt other people in the long run you know and having to deal with that having to deal with the pain that you may have caused to somebody else is it's a lot. It's a lot. Because then you have to go and look. Look now. <laughs> then you have to go and like look within yourself. Like, do you want to fix yourself? Because cause you ain't right, bro. You ain't right. You know what I mean? Like, wrong is wrong. Right is right. And that, it, it just is what it is. And you can keep trying and keep trying. Now, it's the difference when... You keep trying and you keep trying and that other person doesn't want to let it go or or that other friend or family member doesn't want to let it go or your co-worker doesn't want to let it go. It's a difference in that. That's, you know, you got to first forgive yourself. Second, you got to hope that they forgive you. But if not, you can move on. It's okay to move on. Because um, God will restore it. You know what I mean? It'll restore itself. If it's supposed to be, it will, it will happen. You know what I mean? But you also have to look at, is the other person understanding or willing to forgive, to perceive forgiveness, to understand and cope with it? You know, that's something that they have to deal with. So just keeping in mind that everybody's different and everybody deals and heals differently. And their timing does not have to be the same timing as you. Just because you already got over something doesn't mean that they need to be over it now, too. No, especially if you're the one that caused the 
the wrath or cause the problem, the dilemma, the issue. I know my head red. These bugs is like, what is up? Who is you? You out here with us, boo? <laughs> but, um, you know, there's a difference. And time, time heals. Time does heal. And I'm glad that I am healed enough to see, you know, that you don't have to be complacent. You don't have to be that I'm not my outfit. Ooh, smell good. Oh, smell, oh, smell, oh, smell. Feel it. What? Okay. But you don't have to be complacent or feel stagnant. Like you're not moving because um, even when you're trying, you know, it may feel like other people don't see the new you that you're doing within yourself. And some people will never see it. Some people will hold on to things. They will keep things because that's their comfort zone. When you actually heal or when you actually forgive or understand or start to perceive or have that epiphany to where you go I bet you I can live my life and keep living my life after I settle it within myself once you settle it within yourself then what can anybody else tell you they are not in your mind they're not you know in your body they're not in your head they can't make you do anything only you can make yourself do what you want to do and change how you want to change, move how you want to move, think how you want to think. That's you. Only you and your spirit, you know. And I had a point for that one, but I am very distracted right now because it's, it's like three bees over there. Anywho, I'm going to stay calm. This lady's like, you good there's <laughs> so many cause there's so many bees but just understanding that kind of helped me get over a lot of things just getting over postpartum depression that was prolonged I had to look it up because I was like I'm still having these thoughts I'm still having these feelings um, you know still my body's not I feel like my body wasn't working. My mind wasn't working. You know, I'm spiraling. Lord have mercy. I don't want to keep spiraling. When you feel like your mind is spiraling, like you can't catch your breath, like you can't speak or you can't articulate what's going on in your head, that's when you need to call somebody. That's when you need to, and not necessarily call somebody. I know some people who, you know, used to be like me. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. 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 Talk to you for what? Hold on, y'all. Since I ain't finna get stung, that's what we ain't gonna do. We ain't gonna get stung. We ain't just gonna roll up like that. I'm trying to be in my video. Anybody got time? Anyway, you know. But, um. God have mercy. I saw the shadow, but I don't know where it's at. trying to get back to my video it's about nine minutes now but um just releasing that's all i'm doing on here is just releasing because i have recorded this video four times you guys four times something has happened and i'm just getting to the point now where i know <laughs> i know the enemy don't want me to speak but dog you know all this year every video that i have tried to record and last year I have recorded it at least four times. The fourth time is when the video goes up. So yeah, I don't know that. that. That's how much restraint is trying to be put on my mouth. So obviously somebody's supposed to be hearing this. Obviously somebody's supposed to be understanding what I'm talking about. When you get to a place in your mind where you feel like you're spiraling, you're in so much regret, you're in so much resentment, even of yourself I call it well, I call it I don't call it that it was already called self-loathing basically um that is a hole that you got to you got to get yourself out of first because if no one knows that you feel like that how would they know to watch out 
Jesus have mercy. Let me get up from here. Uh uh-uh. uh. I knew it was a little fly. I wasn't scared of that one just yet. But dealing with resentment, dealing with regret, dealing with. He ran over something. That didn't sound good. Um, but dealing with past hurt, dealing with that pain, and then having to deal with physical pain. You know, I went through a cesarean or a C-section and wasn't prepared for it. There's there's a lot that went on in that time frame. Um, moving out of my folks' house into an apartment, into a townhouse, into another apartment, and just the constant changing that though yes a lot of that I caused (laughs) but trying to cope with that I I ain't have it cope how can I cope it's like here comes something else and here comes something else just rolling with the punches is what I was doing basically you you don't have to keep rolling with the punches it's okay to just say hey I know I ain't really myself right now, and I don't want to talk about it right now, but just just watch me, you know? I know, like I was saying, I didn't really like to talk to people because I didn't even know how to articulate what was going on in my head, but if you just have an accountability partner, that will help. I didn't have one, and I went through a lot. I went through a lot. I went through a lot in my mind. I thought I was schizophrenic. I thought I had the multiple personalities. I thought I was going crazy. Okay? That's how many attacks were coming at me to hurt myself, to to leave here. And I'm like, you know, once once I I settled it. That's the word. Once I settled it. Once I settled it. I said, I ain't going nowhere. You've been trying to get rid of me. I'm talking to the enemy. But you've been trying to get rid of me before I was born. Because I know some of y'all know I'm here on YouTube. But y'all know I'm adopted. So you were trying to cast me out before I even came in this world, baby. I am such a threat to the enemy. Y'all have no idea. Every video I have tried to post this year and last year has taken at least three uploads, three edits. Like, even God has been like, one more time, try it again, try it again, do it again, now do it again, now do it again. And then you get to a point where you go, I'm tired. If the video won't go up, I just don't care no more. I just don't care, just forget it. Obviously, I ain't supposed to be doing it. Pitying myself, you know giving up too quickly so many times there's so many videos that could be up y'all but the attacks that were happening left and right in my mind was unreal it was unreal I mean videos have been erased off my phone I didn't touch it (laughs) I saved them correctly, you know. Videos were erased off my computer, you know. And that's just that some some people don't understand, you know. But some people do dabble in witchcraft. You got to remember. And I had went to a job and caught firsthand of that. Caught firsthand of that. I ain't going to say what job I was on. But in, mm-mm. I got time. That was a wasp. But... You gotta watch the people you around or who are in your environment, even if they are co-workers, you know. And I felt the vibe as I got there. As I got there. I didn't I didn't like the vibe I was in, but I didn't have a choice. God had positioned me there for a reason and I figured it out. It was for my father. But um I had to get my heart posture together there. He was dealing with me then. But boy, it was some attacks at the wazoo. I was not ready. I was not ready. Dealing with witches, dealing with warlocks, 